On the second day of his Lango sub-region campaign tour, Alliance for National Transformation presidential candidate Major General Retired Mujisha Montu was in Dokolo district. Concerns ranging from poor health and education standards were among the issues raised by residents here. Primary level P7 examination, where exam, examination comes back, you will find the old district, about only two in the old district will have scored first grade. And this is one thing that we feel has to be changed. If you go to health centers, the building is there, all right, but there are no medication. You only go for prescription and medication you get from somewhere else. As a sign of solidarity, Mugisha Muntu, whose party, ANT, did not front a candidate for woman member of parliament for Dokolo, chose to drum support for FDC's Cecilia Ogwal. Muntu later proceeded to Amolatar district where he campaigned at the district playground. The locals here raised the issue of fishing business where they lamented over government's decision to deploy army on lakes such as Kyoga. The issue of the lake has brought a problem in Amola. Now, children are not going to school, people, parents are just there without any businesses. ANT's Mujisha Muntu, who is in the region to canvass for votes, has also added his voice to those calling for the revision of this deployment. That same concern is also raised by those around Lake Victoria. So there is a problem in the enforcement agencies. Because I know that in Tanzania and in Kenya, they also protect the lake. They protect the fishing grounds, the where the uh, fish are spawned. But you don't hear of terror in Tanzania or Kenya visited upon the fisher, fishermen and women. Although government deployed soldiers to oversee fishing on Lake Kyoga for purely economic and security purposes, since fishermen were catching mature fish, Monto believes they should be withdrawn from the lake. You can firmly exert control to protect the lake, but without terrorizing those who fish, because that's their livelihood. He also pledges to create jobs, especially for the youth in the region. Muntu's two-day campaign tour in the region was wrapped up in Kabira Maido, as he now heads to Teso sub-region.